Hi, I'm Jake with Thorough Building and today we're at the Gilman Street edition of a project our company's working on with Brian Morgan of Brian Morgan Architects. Today I want to talk to you about our rain screen detail. The reason we use a rain screen is we want to be able to control the water in one more way on the outside of our house. In the past five to ten years, building science knowledge has went from being um, how do we keep things from getting wet to what do we do with things once they've gotten wet or how do we let things dry, uh, which is a much better approach to being able to control the, the environment of your building envelope. For us, we use this zip sheathing. This is actually a zip bar, so it has a continuous insulation adhered to the back at the factory. We use it as our weather barrier, our air barrier, our moisture barrier. I mean, it's complete protection for the outside of our house. So I don't know if you can hear it, but the drywallers are actually installing drywall inside right now we don't have any cladding on the outside of this house and that's because we're weather tight already the the second we tape the seams on this product it's weather tight the second we install the windows and tape the windows they're weather tight so we can go ahead and install at any time uh, so it allows us to continue the project going with the drywallers inside while we start on siding on the outside uh, the architect here has specced a galvanized metal at the bottom a hardy panel in this middle section here between the windows and then uh, galvanized metal up above as well. It's a very modern look that's perfect for this edition. Really fits the project well um, and we're excited how it's going to look too. To protect those things, those claddings, the hardy panel and the galvanized metal and let them dry and let our wall dry, we install batten strips. Basically you can see the vertical batten strips on this project. They're different thicknesses to deal with the different thicknesses of plywood or the different thicknesses of cladding, sorry, not plywood. They allow a dead air space behind our cladding, which gives the assembly a chance to dry, which is exactly what we want. We want something to be able to get wet and it not be a big deal rather than try to keep everything from getting wet. So our cladding should be almost entirely waterproof on its own, but it's just there to protect our actually entirely waterproof surface with the zip sheeting. A um, couple things that you have to do with the rain screening, you have to make sure that you're nailing your batten strips to the studs so that they'll carry the weight of any siding or cladding that you put on the exterior. Uh, you also have to have a vent at the bottom and at the top. Uh, that way the assembly can't actually dry. If you're solid at the bottom or solid at the top, the thing doesn't actually dry the way you'd like it to. Uh, for us, we do a Simple bug screen at the bottom. Our bug screen gets adhered to the wall. Our batten strips run down over top of it and then it gets brought around and folded up onto it. Once we push our cladding up tight to it, the bugs can't get in at all. Uh, we do the same thing at the top and then we just leave a small gap between it and the soffit. It gives our wall a better lifespan. It gives our cladding a better lifespan. It alleviates any worries about water that we might have getting behind our cladding. Uh, it makes it so you don't even have to caulk your hardy say or your wood siding if you didn't want to or you don't have to worry about whether or not that caulking is going to keep things dry uh, because you're not relying on your cladding to dry. You're relying on the weather barrier and then the rain screen to wick all that water away quickly so that you don't have to worry about water sitting on surfaces and aging products prematurely. It also, it also creates a cooler wall. Uh, anytime their air can get behind your cladding, that's less temperature that the, un the assembly is going to hold, rather. Uh, it seems to us that this is the best practice we can find for installing siding. Uh, for more information about us, check us out on aerobuilding.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.